that's why he took off probably but uh we're, we're supposed to assume that because this was the season of assumptions kenji twenty dollars uh, i can't i'll do this here is to Aegon targaryen sixth of his name kingslayer queenslayer it hurt me to see him go luke skywalker on danny he didn't even try to save her he could have married her become a king helped reign her tyrant side i know but um the plot wouldn't allow it because dan and dave had to go make a star wars movie bad um not real bad they need to make it literally bad uh kenji yes I just never, God damn it, that show. Uh, it's, um, this, this one kind of hurts, folks. I mean, I, I felt most of the pain after the third episode. I, I was kind of that, 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 but it's this seeing, seeing Jon Snow for the last time and not feeling anything, but he got completely screwed over is the only emotion I'm feeling about this show. Yeah, it was completely anticlimactic, and Jon Snow had become so lame. I mean, like I said, I could not believe that this man, that was such a hero and, and such a such a good, solid character, was walking around King's Landing and stepping over dead bodies and not thinking anything, not thinking anything, just had that same little kind of regretful look plastered on his face. Nothing shocked him. He hadn't concluded that something's got to be done about Auntie. He just, like, actually had to be talked into it by Tyrion. Didn't say shit. What the fuck? Is that the Jon Snow that we knew? Absolutely not. not. Mine. No. no. And, and the question has to be asked, folks, before I get back to the Super Chat, knowing the answer is, while Jon Snow's end, I totally agree. That's probably what will happen. He'll probably have to kill Danny unless George changes his mind and probably have to go back to the Night's Watch, but there'll probably be some reason for it. But prior to that, do you think George wrote Jon Snow to just walk around going McQueen and ask Arya's advice and uh, and take a backseat to Sansa, even though he was the fracking king? Did he ever look kingly and... <laughs> Like we built up to make him the king and they just gutted him. I don't think that's a book decision. I don't think at all. I think that's a 2017, 18, 19 current Hollywood, you know, patriarchy decision. I'll just come out and say it. That's, I think that played somewhat into his story, taking a backseat so we can bring some more people like Arya, other than like her deus ex machina or however you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, uh, killing the night king was pretty useless this entire season. She ran around and didn't get killed in King's Landing. She didn't kill Danny. She gave John some advice and she went on a boat trip. Yeah, didn't kill Cersei. Didn't kill Cersei. Just kind of, you know, got talked out of it at the last minute by the Hound. <laughs> just got talked right out of it. It's just like completely swayed. Okay, you're right. I don't want to end up like you. So then she, I don't, and what happened to the horse too? Didn't she like ride off with a horse? But then where's the fucking white horse? Yeah, like, it was supposed to be this big symbol, combat. right? And like, and, and I thought it was going to be, I, see, I gave the writers too much credit. I'm like, oh, she's death now. She's going to become like this assassin. She on a pale horse, she rides. No, nope, they just wanted to bring a horsey in and, and kill five minutes. Um, God, the more I think about it, it's, this is so bad. Like, no, this is this is the worst ending of all time to a TV show. This is the worst collapse all time of a TV show. Um, and you ain't seen nothing yet. This is gonna get. This is gonna go for a while. Wait till tomorrow morning. Uh, right now, people are still watching it around the world. But tomorrow yeah. morning, when uh, when the normie news starts up, it's gonna. Oof, man, shit's gonna go down. Uh, and rightfully so, but uh, you know, you just haven't seen the end of Lost, but it's very comparable. Uh, but even Lost was worse because there was literally no point to Lost, none. I mean, at least this told a, a story, it was a shit story, and it betrayed and subverted all the promises of the previous great seasons, uh, sold down the, the characters down the river. But at least something happened, and, and the end of, of Lost just completely dropped every single mystery, and all it was was a string of mysteries all along. So, I mean, the whole thing was revealed to be a con job, a, a shell game, dude. There was nothing to Lost. Nothing. Yeah, I, I had watched Alias, and I saw mm -hmm. it then that, that when mm -hmm. Lost started, J.J. jumped from Alias and went to Lost and then started going to another thing, and I liked Alias, and it went off the 
the, and I'm like, I don't want to watch anything by him. I mean, like I started watching Alias. I liked it. He bailed it. It sucked. Yep. So, but the, what's different about Game of Thrones is it was the greatest show on television, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. It was everything I love. Zombies, dragons, freaking knights, uh, every, you know, historic references, a big full world I can dive into. I turned so many people onto the show at my shop. I would con- talk about it constantly. We used to air episodes in my comic shop. We used to do screenings of Game of Thrones. I re- Oh, my God. I remember uh, the premiere of season three when Ghost saved Sam Tarly from the white in the beginning. Remember when they were scary and dangerous and Ghost did oh, stuff? Yeah. Uh, people were cheering when, when ghost came across the screen, people went, yeah, it was so much fun. Those were the days, but now we're reduced to nothing matters. Uh, John gets to ball. Actually, gray worm had more balls than John. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Vari's died for now. 